When we're young, we have an amazing positive outlook about how great life is going to be, but somewhere along the line, we forget to dream and end up settling. Join Up Dots features amazing people who refused to give up and chose to go after their dreams. This is your blueprint for greatness. So here's your host, live from the back of his garden in the UK, David Ralph. Yes, hello there. Hello, everybody, and welcome to another episode of Join Up Dots. Yes, the motivational, inspirational, conversational and sometimes just me, just me, and it's me today, just me doing my thing, doing my thing on the microphone. So how are we all? Are we having a good week? Because it's Friday today, so it means tonight is, for many of you, whizzing down to the local bar or pub, slinging copious amounts of alcohol down your throat, and then waking up tomorrow morning thinking, why, why did I do it? Why did I do it? And it's not a surprise that so many people do that. I I used to do the same thing myself until I got into that age when when hangovers last till I'm 62 and not just to 11 o'clock in the morning that's when my sort of drinking um let's look for fun in the bottom of a glass kind of stopped and now I live a healthy life. I'm slightly zen-like. I have got a the body of a temple, and it's just it's just glorious in my life. Well, it's not always glorious because because life is what you make it, and that is what this show is all about today. It's about trying to have fun when fun isn't really there to be had. I've had a strange week this week. Now, normally I am Mr. Entrepreneurial. I've got a top podcast. I don't know if you know that, but if you have discovered Join Up Dots, then welcome. And if you've been here for a long time, you will know that I've been on a bit of a journey to get here. But now I'm here, I'm clinging to it. I'm clinging to the rocket ship, which is Join Up Dots and having great time. I'm having fun. Literally every single day, my life is glorious. Well, this week, it hasn't been. It hasn't been. Now, we've got a business in the family. It's not my business. It's the mum and dad. It's my mum and dad who are in their 80s. And every now and again, once in a blue moon, because I used to work in the shop when I was younger and I've kind of grown up with it, I know how it all operates. When they've got issues or they've got staffing issues, David, yes. Even yes, even though I'm a world famous podcaster, to some people I'm just David and to other people I'm you're not doing anything. You can help us out. Yes, that's parents talk. And um, so for the last few days, I've been down the shop helping them out, installing a new computer system and basically having as far away from fun as is possible. I, I get down there about 10 to 8, make a cup of tea and I look at the clock and it's five past eight and I think, Oh my God, how can I put up with this for the rest of my life? And I used to do it. used to do it every single day. used to go up to London, traipse up there, sit at my desk. But now I've seen the, I've seen the promised land. I've seen the other side of the fence. And it's, it's a fun life when you can do what you want every day. It's like being a spoiled toddler who just screams and shouts because he's not allowed to do what he wants to do. Well, I just kind of do that. People can't stop me. I just get on the microphone and start talking and do my own thing. And so this week, I've been in the shop um, sorting them out and helping them out. And think, God, it's finished. But I realised that actually the only way to get through this, this hell, this hell, was by actually trying to make it as fun as possible. And it's quite difficult. When you're in a situation and you're doing a job that you don't like and it's just a chore, it's very difficult to find ways of making it sort of fun and crazy. But you can do it. You can do it. And so what I did this week was you get a lot of annoying customers that come in and they they come in and they kind of talk to you like you're just a piece of dirt. And you're not a piece of dirt. You're not a piece of dirt. You're a person with human feelings. But I kind of had a little game that when I saw them walking up, I put them into two categories, pleasant or idiot. And I tried to decide by the way they were walking up to the shop and opening the door whether they were idiot idiot or pleasant and it it kind of passed the time it passed the time and so I started to do other little things to just kind of make it fun now one of the things that's really fun is Gary this guy who's down there told me very stupidly that he's got a phobia about balloons and when you work in this shop every now and again you get a load of deliveries and they had those kind of 
packaging protection balloons, like air pockets, big things. And so I I had a very delightful few days hiding them every now and again, so that when he was in sort of the vicinity, just reaching behind a bottle and bang, and watching Gary basically pass out every single time. It never lost its enjoyment for me. And I think by the time I'm I'm 92, if he's still working down there, it's still going to make me laugh just because of his little red sweaty face as he clings to the counter and slips to the floor. It's, it's a very dramatic thing. So when do you make your life fun? When do you do things that aren't fun? And, and how do you do it? You know, what I'd love to do is if people could drop me a line and it only has to be you can go over to Facebook, join up darts. You can go to join up dots daily Twitter and just let us know what kind of things that you do you do to get through the slog when it's not fun. What little challenges do you do? It might be the case that you've got a commute and so you try to drive from your house to your office without touching the brake. Tiny little challenges. It might be the case that you try to never stop at a traffic light and just get green, green, like James Corden, Mr. Green Light. Because life can be fun. It can be totally fun and you don't have to be serious all the time. You don't, you really don't. There was a guy many, many years ago. I used to work in a company and uh, I always used to sort of like generally having a bit of a laugh. And, uh, he came up to me once and he was the big boss man. And Mr. Big Boss Man, if you are listening to this podcast, you know who you are. And hey, hey, look at me now. Look at me now. Because he said to me, David, he said, you're not serious enough. People will not take you seriously unless you act serious. And at my core, I knew he was wrong because I just knew that he was projecting on how he wanted to operate and it wasn't how I wanted to operate. And now I'm in a position where my sort of fun, flippant lunacy works very well. And I have people coming to me across the globe who listen to me on a daily basis because they want a bit of enthusiasm, a bit of motivation and a bit of enjoyment. All the kind of things that he said wouldn't work well in the, the world. You put yourself in the right position and it, it's like it's like super talent. It's like superpower. You can't do better. So he said to me, you can't be too, you know, you've got to be serious. Otherwise, the world will not take you too seriously. And I think getting too seriously is the thing that kills the fun. In other words, if you feel sorry for yourself and you're worrying about everything or you're endlessly trying to figure out people's behaviour and attitudes, then it's not fun or productive. Now, fun is just learning how to enjoy wherever you are and whatever you are doing, no matter how stupid it seems to be. And you can create upbeat, positive, enthusiastic attitudes wherever you go. So I would, I would love you to drop me a line about how you get through your days, how you make things fun, how you make things crazy, how you you just enjoy yourself. I I tell you what I did the other day, right? This is one of the things. Do you remember when you was a kid and you used to get a calculator and you used to try to write words on them, turn it upside down and write words? Now, I assume this is global, but certainly in the UK, the main one that you would write was boobs. And you would just do that and and, and snigger quite happily. And to be honest, even now, if I see a, a calculator and it's just there, I will type boobs just so that I haven't lost the talent because it is a talent. And from memory, I think it was boobs and galoshes. Galoshes was the big one, but boobs was the one that you went for. Not much different to my life now, I would say. And so I was trying to mow the lawn. And I thought, wouldn't it be funny if I could write the word boobs in the grass so that somebody in an airplane came across and would see it. Now, it's a complete waste of time, really, and it took me longer to mow the lawn instead of going back and forth, back and forth. But it was a little challenge. I wanted to see, could I actually do it? Could I get the B? And how do I go from the B to the O? Right, okay. And then how do I do it again? And I did. I I got boobs in my office, uh, in my garden. It was they they were growing. They, it was it, it was a boob plantation, and so I just spent a bit of time, a bit of fun time, um, doing that just to get through the chore. So there are there's 
everything you can do if you can see the humor if you can just be silly if you can be fun believe me that's what the world wants and people respond to that they will respond to it and it might not work in the environment that you're in but you don't have to tell them that you're having fun you can have these little challenges in your head i remember a guy telling me i I studied um, legal recruitment once up in london for about six weeks, I was um, selling legal secretaries to the legal profession, and I hated it. I hated it with an absolute passion. And so I only lasted six weeks, and I said, look, I can't do this, and I'm leaving. Um, but this guy said to me, and he, he was the owner of the company, Neil, his name was, and uh, he was he was very amusing, very camp, very flamboyant, um, and he had a story about everything. And he said that he used to work in a toothpaste factory making toothpaste tubes. Now, I imagine now it's all done automatically, but this was back in the day. And he was on a conveyor belt, and the only thing that he had to do was put the lid on the top or put the the plastic in the lid or something to do with that and it was so boring but he realized that there was a real miserable woman at the end of the conveyor belt about three people down that if he could do his bit really really quickly it meant that she had nothing to do at her end and because it was based on commission she would lose out on money or something like that so that's what he did he didn't tell anyone but he just worked furiously fast to mean that he could screw up this miserable lady at the end brilliant brilliant he'd created fun within a task to get him through the day and that is what life is all about being fun having fun and enjoying yourself because if you can have fun then the quality of work is just so much better it really is i don't know what this episode's going to sound like because i just turned on the microphone and started talking but i really do think that it's good for you and it's good for your health it's good it's proven fun is really proven as taking good care of the your body i remember going to the doctor because i felt really rubbish one time and he said when was the last time you had fun and i couldn't actually answer it it was i was just in churn and in grind all the time and he said to me you've got to start having fun you've got to start relaxing and enjoying yourself and not working at weekends and it was very hard to stop that because i'd got into the routine of doing all those things but once i did then it's it it was just better my sleep got better my health got better my my luxurious mane on my head got better all through fun now just before i go just before i go i want to say a big congratulations to uh another podcaster and his name is neil hughes and he is the tech writing blogging podcasting person i can never remember the name of his show but he has just released 300 episodes now for anybody who is interested in technology and business then his show's a great one to go for and he is really rocking and rolling across the world but 300 is now the point where he's starting to see things coming his way and it's starting to get fun and enjoyable but the first 100 probably no one listened the second 100 you know it was a bit better but now he's getting to the point when it's fun it's inspiring and the only way that he managed to get there I'm sure was by actually inspiring himself to have fun with the process while it was grind at the beginning so I I salute you Mr Hughes from the Midlands of the United Kingdom the kingdom of the midlands because 300 is absolutely amazing and for anybody who who is thinking of doing anything then look at neil because he's just churning out on a daily basis but he's smiling bigger than anyone i know he's having fun he's having fun well thank you so much for listening to this episode of join up dots thank you so much for everybody oh hang on there was a lady the other day who left a lovely well i assume it was a lady a lovely review on itunes really makes uh, a big difference it really does i can't other than you coming round and giving me a bed bath, I can't think of anything more that is more inspiring and um, lovely. So this person is Muffy B. Muffy B from the United States. And I assume it's a lady with a name Muffy. Um, my favourite podcast ever! Exclamation mark, exclamation mark. David Ralph does it all. I noticed this podcast on iTunes and I started listening. I enjoy his entrepreneurship experience within his podcast and he makes me feel good just listening in. He's truly an inspiration and he keeps me focused on life he's a podcaster that doesn't give up he's the best he's got my vote his picks for interviews are great he's dynamic and has an exciting voice love his ideas wow 
Thank you very much, Muffy. Thank you very much. And for everybody who has been leaving ratings and reviews, it perks me so up to read those things. And um, I've been a bit slack, really, and not sort of saying thank you personally on the shows. So on these solo shows, I'm going to drop you a line. If anyone can do that, really is appreciative um, or appreciated. Thank you so much for listening to this episode of Join Up Darts. Go out and have fun. Make your boring tasks fun. Really enjoy yourself. And connect with us on Facebook, Join Up Darts, or Twitter, Join Up Darts daily and tell us tell us how you're making it fun look after yourself and until next time we'll see you again cheers see ya bye bye david doesn't want you to become a faded version of the brilliant self you were once to become so he's put together an amazing guide for you called the eight pieces of advice that every successful entrepreneur practices including the two that changed his life Head over to joinupdots.com to download this amazing guide for free, and we'll see you tomorrow on Join Up Dots.